In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, I speak. Uh, once again, I give thanks to God uh, for sustaining us and also for giving us uh, the energy uh, to stay here to listen to the Word of God. Uh, we ask the Lord to continue to bless uh, each and every one of us here so that all of us can be truly edified by the Word of God. I'm going to continue with uh, the topic on go up to the mountain. We mentioned about in the book of Micah. We find that after the establishment of the highest mountain of the Lord, many people will flow to the mountains. One of the, the features mentioned in uh, that passage of the scriptures is about God uh, will teach us his ways. Uh, so that we can walk uh, in his path. Clearly the standard has already been set. Today we cannot say that we do not know the word of God. We have been taught uh, over and over again, you know, how uh, we should conduct ourselves uh, in our life. We have also been told uh, concerning our duties uh, towards God. Uh, so we should be aware of our duties and what we should do in life. We talk about the challenge that we face, that's, that is, even though we are in the church, we are not exactly taught by God. Uh, one reason that we have identified is because our heart, our mindset, uh, has not been changed. So if we ask God to help us, if we truly desire to pursue God, uh, because we are God's children, uh, surely our Heavenly Father will be more than willing to help us. Uh, what we need to do is to express this desire to be to be taught and to be helped by God. Uh, we also mention about you know uh, what kind of message should be preached uh, in uh, the, mount, the mountain of God. Uh, actually, we all have duty uh, towards one another. We need to keep check on our own our faith. Meaning we mutually we need to uh, you know keep track on one another's faith. Uh, that's why we need to teach one another. Uh, so one of the key messages uh, mentioned in Isaiah chapter 40. Is to send to the cities of Judah. Uh, behold your God. Uh, they must be able to see, we must be able to see God in our life. We know that God is a spirit. Uh, we cannot see him with our naked eyes. Uh, sometimes we say we can see God through our faith. Uh, this is very true. Uh, with a good faith, we can clearly see God. The Bible also tells us uh, this uh, faith comes from the hearing of the Word of God. Uh, so if we don't have the hearts to listen, surely our faith will diminish. If we, if we remain in this state of existence, eventually we find that our faith will be gone altogether. Uh, we cannot see God anymore. God anymore. Uh, so we need faith to see God. Uh, to have this faith requires us to keep on 
listening to the word of God. 为咗要有呢种嘅信心，我哋要急不断继续聆听神嘅话语。Uh, we find that when everyone yeah does this. 如果我哋话每个人都能够咁做到嘅，咁呢个教会成为一个好属灵嘅教会。We can see clearly the mighty work of God in the church. 咁我哋喺教会里边就睇到神嗰种嘅大能嘅作为。God will always be here to help us resolve issues. 神会永远喺我哋嘅生命当中同我哋一齐去解决问题。God will always be here to help us resolve issues. 神会永远都喺度帮助我哋解决我哋嘅问题。We find that the judgment of God will be clearly shown in the church. 咁我哋就发觉神嘅审判好清楚嘅显示出嚟。In this way, the fear of the Lord will be instilled in the church. 咁我哋就发觉神嘅审判好清楚嘅显示出嚟。In this way, the fear of the Lord will be instilled in the church. 咁咁嘅诶敬畏神嗰啲心就喺。呢度嚟灌输咗喺呢个教会里边。Everyone will fear the Lord。每个人都能够敬畏神。啊 ，will see the mighty arm of the Lord。我哋睇到神嗰种嘅大能大力嘅膀臂。How he will lead his people forward。佢点样嚟要带领佢百姓嚟要前进。啊 ，everyone will be shepherded by God。每个人都被神嚟到去牧养。We need to speak to our children。我哋需要向我哋嘅儿女嚟讲述。We need to speak to our family members, our siblings。我哋需要我哋嘅家庭，我哋弟兄姊妹嚟到去讲述。Our brother and sisters。我哋嘅弟兄。That we must behold our God. 我哋看啊，我哋嘅神。We hope that all of us can truly see God in our life. 我哋希望每个人真系好日常生活当中真系见到神。There is one aspect of teaching that we need to talk about when we come to Zion. 咁另外一个诶方面，我哋喺话锡安山要教导嘅就系。What kind of message should we teach? 有咩嘅信息我哋去要传讲呢 ？I want you to turn to the book of Joel。我哋睇下约珥书。Please turn to the book of Joel chapter two。我哋睇下约珥书嘅第二章。We read verse two, verse one and verse fifteen。第一章第一节同埋十五节。Joel chapter two, verse one and verse fifteen。约珥书第二章第一节同埋十五节。Blow the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming, for it is at hand. 约书第二章第一节，你们要在锡安吹角，在我圣山吹出大声，国中的居民都要发震，因为耶和华的日子将到，已经临近。Verse fifteen. 第十五节。Blow the trumpet in Zion, consecrate a fast, call a sacred assembly. 十五节，你们要在石安吹角，分定禁食的日子，宣告严肃会。If you have, if we have read this book before， 如果你大家读过呢本书嘅话 ，Chapter One talks about， you know， is like God has taken back all His blessing from His people。咁第一章就系话神将所有嘅福分就从佢百姓中收回。Uh, you find that even even joy、uh, has withered away。I want you to read that verse twelve。虽然呢啲嘅喜乐系已经攞去啊，我哋读下第十二节。Uh, chapter One verse twelve. 第一章嘅第十二节。The vine has dried up, and the fig tree has withered. The pomegranate tree, the palm tree also, and the apple tree, all the trees of the field are withered. Surely joy has withered away from the sons of men. 约珥书第一章十二节。葡萄树枯干，无花果树衰残，石榴树、棕树、苹果树，连田野一切的树木也都枯干。众人的喜乐仲都消灭。In the Old Testament scriptures, the produce of the of the land represents the blessing from God to His people. 旧约圣经里边，地土里边嘅出产代表神对嘅百姓嘅祝福。Here in verse twelve, we see that all these trees have dried up. 咁喺十二节呢度睇到所有嘅树已经系枯干啦。Denoting that you know the joy that God has given to His people. Is beginning to vanish. 所有神所赐俾嘅百姓嗰种嘅喜乐，仲都消灭啦。啊 ，so this is the 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 feature mentioned in chapter one. 呢个就系第一章所记载嗰种嘅情形。啊 ，so in chapter two, a warning is sounded forth. 所以喺第二章嘅里边，就呢个警告就发出嚟啦。So God said to Joel to blow the trumpet in Zion. 所以神对呢个约珥话：你呢个石安要吹角啦。啊 ，to sound an alarm in his holy mountain to warn God's people. 就出喺圣山度吹出大声嚟到去警告佢嘅居民。And verse fifteen, and again the same message is warning is issued. 就係就係十五節嗰度亦都係提到呢個警告。啊 ，so when you read the 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 passages that follow, you can see a transformation. 如果你繼續讀落去嘅話，你睇到佢哋嗰種嘅改變。啊 ，is like what has what God has given to them in the past is now being restored. 
。咁喺過去神所賜福俾佢嘅，而家你又再次重温又有啦。啊、uh, ，is like God、uh, is happy to to give them what He has taken away from them。就係話神係願意將佢收取嘅福氣再次嚟到賜俾佢哋。To many of us, we may think that this message is like a warning yet to Uh, people who do not believe in God。咁有啲人，好多人認為呢啲咁嘅警告，好似俾嗰啲未信主嘅人。Uh, maybe it doesn't, you know, the message does not really concern about us。或者你覺得呢個信息同我哋係冇乜關係嘅。Uh, but when we read the chapter, we find that it is about us。如果你仔細去閱讀嘅話，其實個內容係關於係我哋嘅。Now the first point is。咁第一點就係、是。Here the instruction is that the trumpet must be sounded in。Zion。咁另一點就係話呢個角一定喺石安嗰度吹出嘅。Uh, we can see this in verse one and verse fifteen, the two verses、uh, that we have just read。嘅頭先嗰讀過嘅第一節同埋第五節、第十五節嗰度。So quite clearly, this message is not directed to people who do not know God。好清楚嘅，呢個信息唔係話俾嗰啲未信神嘅人嘅。The message is given to us。呢個信息係俾我哋今日。啊、uh, ，Now why should Uh, God asks,、uh, you know,、uh, His workers to sound the trumpet in Zion. 神點解叫佢嘅工人喺石安你度吹角咧 ？Some of us may said. 有啲人會話。The church is okay. 啊，教會佢誒冇問題啊。It's quite good. You see, every time, you know, on the Sabbath,、uh, many people would come to join in the service. 誒，教會幾好啊！每個星安息日好多信徒嚟參加聚會啊。We also see members are willing to do church work. 你睇到信徒好願意參與聖工。Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to、uh, list down some of the key points in chapter two。咁我哋要將會喺第二章嗰度嚟到去點出幾個重點。Uh, so for us to see whether this message is applicable to us or not。咁就睇下呢啲信息係咪對於我哋同有關嘅。And to see whether this alarm should be、uh, sounded。睇下呢個呢、这個警告係咪響起啦？啊、uh, ，now I want you to read the verse three。我哋睇下讀下第三節。Chapter two verse three。第二章第三節。A fire devoured before them, and behind them a flame burns. The land is like the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Surely nothing shall escape them。第三節，他們前面如火誒燒滅，後面如火焰燒燙，未到以前。地如誒伊甸園過去以後，成了荒涼的曠野，沒有一樣能躲避他們的。啊、uh, ，We say that this is like a punishment from God。我哋話呢個就係從神而嚟嘅刑罰。啊、uh, ，Sometimes we find that things that happen in our life。有時候發覺我哋生命所發生嘅事情。啊、uh, ，It can be that it is God who allowed them to happen to us。或者係神誒允許呢啲事情發生喺我哋嘅身上。When we talk about relationship with God， 如果我哋講到同神嗰個之間嘅關係 ，We need to first think about you know the relationship between Adam and Adam and God in the Garden of Eden。我哋首先誒睇下喺誒伊甸園裏邊亞當同神嗰種嘅關係。啊 ，You find that you know 誒、uh,。When God at first placed Adam in the Garden of Eden， 我哋誒話誒，當神將亞當擺去伊甸園嘅時候 ，quite clearly Adam was able to speak to God and to communicate with Him freely。就係話好清楚顯示亞當係好自由咁同神面對面講話同埋溝通嘅。There was no restriction at all。係冇限制嘅。So it's like God is present in the Garden of Eden。就係話神就係話喺伊甸園嗰度嚟到同佢同在。After he has sinned against God。佢犯罪之後 ，We realize that he was driven out of the Garden of Eden。我哋又發覺佢被逐出伊甸園。啊 ，It's like you know， 啊、uh, ，He no longer had this chance to。Uh, communicate with God directly again。我哋話佢再冇呢個機會直接同神嚟到去聯繫。If you look at verse three more closely， 如果你係仔細讀下第三節嘅話 ，behind them a desolate wilderness， 就話後面就係呢個誒誒呢個嘅曠野。It's like a place without life。就係話呢個。地方係冇生命嘅。You know in the Old Testament scriptures， 誒喺舊嘅聖經裏邊 ，sometimes the Bible uses desolations。有時候呢個誒聖經用呢個荒涼。Or, or ruinous places。或者呢個荒涼冇種嘢嘅地方。Or a place of devastation。或者呢個係毫無誒荒野嘅地方。Uh, to denote the state of existence of the believers of God。就係話睇嚟到形容當時信徒個嗰種嘅狀況。Meaning that they have sinned against God。就係話意思佢哋犯罪得罪神。That's why their life is like a wilderness。就係話佢，就係因為咁樣，佢哋嘅生活就係好似曠野咁樣。啊、uh, ，there's no life in it。就係完全冇生命嘅。啊、uh, 
So when you look at this very closely, and then we think about our, our, our life today, think about our family, and think about our children, uh, do our children have God in life? If they truly have God, you find that they will be very keen on worshipping God. They will enjoy coming to the church and will enjoy praying to God. Because there is a connection between them and God. So these are the things that we need to look at very closely. Sometimes we find that our children do not want to come to the church. Initially, we may feel bad about it. Uh, we, we want to change them. Uh, but we are not able to do so. Uh, so because they are not willing to change, it's like we, we give in to them. Uh, we, we take this as something very normal. But we know that this is not normal. If our children do not come to the church to worship God, uh, this is something very dangerous. It's not normal at all. So what should we do? We should blow the trumpet. Meaning to warn. Uh, some of us may say, How are we going to warn? Uh, you know, if we tell them, they may not like it. But the Bible tells us, uh, This is our duty. Uh, so we have to warn. Meaning, prayerfully, we warn them. Uh, in fact, you know, sometimes I, I, I feel that we should do this, uh, do it this way. Uh, if our family members yeah, don't come to the church, uh, we must not just shoulder the burden ourselves. Uh, we should at least tell some of our you know our close friends. Uh, our family members or our relatives. So that they can pray together with us. Uh, pray for them so that they will come back. Uh, in my in my uh, you know uh, service to the Lord, this is one thing that I discover. Uh, it's something that I learned from. I learned, uh, learned from my work. Uh, uh, you know, you find that some of our members are very serious about their faith. Uh, so when they see that your know, things are not right with their family members, uh, they ask the church to pray. Or they get you know uh, their friends to pray. Because they are so serious about it. So God can see it. And God also is serious about it. Uh, so God help them. Bring them back. If we take it lightly, when God look at us, and God realize that you are not serious about, about it, why, why should I do something about it? Uh, that's why we need to sound the trumpet. Especially in Zion. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is a situation that we need to correct. If we do not correct it, we will regret it. So we get the church to pray. Everyone should pray about it. We say saving soul is so important. Yeah, we go to Africa to preach. But back home, we are losing souls. So we should do something about it. So when we see that our children are no longer show any interest in the church, this is not something normal. Uh, we need to bear this in mind. This is something abnormal. Uh, let the whole church pray for, for us. Uh, and then we can reverse the situation. We can bring our children back to the Lord. God is a gracious God. 
。神係非常之有恩慈嘅神。Uh, he looks at our hearts as well。佢亦都係睇我哋嘅內心。We need to show remorse before God。我哋需要喺神嘅面前嚟顯示我哋嘅。Uh, if we know that we have err, we have strayed away from God。如果我哋發覺我哋同神之間誒交係距離咗啦。Uh, we want to come back to Him。我哋需要翻翻嚟神嗰度。What should we do？ 我哋應該點做 ？I want you to turn back to Joel chapter two。我哋翻翻嚟約二書第二章。Uh, Joel chapter two。約二書第二章。We read、uh, verse twelve and verse thirteen。十二十三節。Joel chapter two verse twelve and verse thirteen. 约珥书二章十二十三节。Now therefore says the Lord, turn to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. 十二节，耶和华说，虽然如此，你们应当禁食、哭泣、悲哀，一生归向我。Verse thirteen. 十三节。So rent your heart and your and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for He is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. And he relents from doing harm. 十三节，你们要撕裂身墙，不撕裂衣服，归向耶和华你们的神，因为他有恩典，有怜悯，不轻易发怒，有丰盛的慈爱，并且后悔不干所说的罪。You, you find that in the Old Testament time, the people of God always, you know, committed very serious sin against God. 我哋知道喺旧约圣经里边，百姓时常犯嗰啲好严重嘅罪。Uh, they worship another God. 佢哋诶拜其他嘅神。Uh, they deserted the true God. 佢哋离开咗真神。This is a very serious sin. 呢个系好严重嘅罪行。You know, punishable by death. 系应该系被致死嘅。Uh, here, Joel said to them. 呢度约语同佢哋讲。Turn to God with all your heart. 就系话一生嚟到去归向神。Uh, it has to be sincere. 系一定要诚心实意嘅。With fasting and weeping and with mourning. 就系话应该禁食、哭泣、悲哀。Uh, even Joel said, "This is not enough. Not just outward." 约语话呢个啲都唔够，唔单止系外表里边。Make sure your heart is open before God. 就要好肯定你嘅身喺神嘅面前系打开嘅。So rend your heart and not your garments only。就系话撕裂你嘅身墙，不撕裂你嘅衣服。And return to the Lord。就系话归向神。Sometimes I feel that this is the message that we need to sound for。有时候我哋觉得呢个嘅诶信息一定要咁样嚟到去。We always talk about love. I believe love is essential to talk about in the church。我哋时常讲爱冇错，爱喺教会里边系非常之重。And I also believe that without the love of God, none of us can be saved。咁我哋要相信冇。神嘅爱冇人能够得救。Today we are saved because of the mercy of God。今日我哋能够被得救，因为神嘅怜悯。啊 ，we we we walk in this path to heaven。我哋继续行喺呢条天国路里边。Without His mercy。如果冇佢嘅怜悯 ，How many of us can survive？ 有几多个能够生存咧 ？I guess none of us can survive。我我我想冇人能够生存。Yes， we need God's mercy。冇错，我哋需要神嗰种嘅恩慈。But at the same time， we also need to make it clear to ourselves and to the church。咁亦呢个时候亦都同自己教会之间要清楚。God is a righteous God。神系公义嘅神。Ah， He is always there to wait for us to turn。佢时常喺度等待我哋回转俾。If we do not turn back to Him， 如果我哋唔回转归向神 ，Then we all have to face His righteous judgment。咁我哋每个人。都要面对佢公义嗰种嘅审判。We know that God is not like us. He is not a human being. 我哋知道神唔系好似我哋咁，唔系人嘅样嘅。He does not compromise. 佢唔会妥协嘅。But he is a long-suffering God. 佢系一个长久忍耐嘅神。He gave us opportunity to turn. 佢俾好多机会我哋嚟去回转。So if we do not turn, 如果我哋唔回转嘅话 ，What will happen to us? 我哋会发生咩事 ？Will be judged and condemned. 我就系话被定诶审判，而且被定罪。If you look at the Old Testament scriptures, 如果你睇下旧约圣经里边 ，For example. Uh, in the time of Noah， 尤尤其是例如嚟讲喺挪亚嘅时 ，you find that his judgment is complete。我哋知道佢嘅审判系完全嘅。Those who were not in the ark of God， 嗰啲冇喺神嘅方舟里边 ，they were not safe。佢哋就唔能夠得救。All of them perish in the water。所有嘅人都滅喺呢個水裏邊。Only those who were in the ark were saved。只有嗰啲喺方舟裏邊先能夠得救。Here we can see the judgment of God。呢度睇到神嗰種嘅審判。And you can see the standard of His righteousness。呢度睇到佢嗰個種公義嗰種嘅原則。He does not compromise。佢唔會妥協。Likewise, when you look at the Exodus generation。嗱，同樣嘅，你睇下以色列百姓出埃及。The Bible says He heard the cries of the people。誒，聖經話神聽到佢哋百姓。That's why he sent Moses to them. 所以佢差派摩西去佢哋嗰度。He took all the troubles to save them out from Egypt. 佢拥有所诶，排除所有嘅患难嚟到去救佢哋出呢个埃及。Ah, demonstrating his mighty power. 嚟到显示出佢嘅大能嘅能力。According to Exodus chapter nineteen. 根据出埃及记第十九章。He took all these people to himself like an, you know, he. 
bore them on eagle wings。佢將所有嘅百姓附喺佢哋好似誒鷹背佢嘅小鷹咁樣樣。Uh, you know the wings represent the mighty power of God。你知道鷹嘅翅膀就係代表神嗰種嘅大能。He brought all these people to himself。就係話佢將所有嘅百姓。But look what happened when they refused to turn back。咁當佢哋嚟到去拒絕嚟到去跟向神嘅時候，點樣咧 ？Most of them perish in the wilderness。就係話大多部分嘅人喺抗野嚟到倒閉。This message must be sounded forth in Zion。所以呢種嘅信息一定喺聖安裏邊嚟緊要吹出。Sometimes we are deceived by some people。有時候被啲人嚟到去誒欺騙。They said love is is the most important thing。啊，我我哋話啊誒愛係最重要嘅。啊 ，Don't talk about the truth。唔好講真理啦。啊 ，you you know truth is not important。啊，真理唔係咁重要嘅。Truth is important。真理係重要。啊 ，without the truth we cannot have true love。如果冇真理，我哋唔能夠有呢個真愛。啊 ，so in the mountain of God。所以喺神嘅山裏邊。We must sound forth this kind of message。我哋一定要將呢個信息嚟到吹起嚟。By sounding forth this message。接著吹起呢種嘅警號。Actually, we are showing love to our brother and sister and to ourselves。其實咁樣樣做就係向我哋同埋向我哋自己弟兄姊妹顯出我哋嘅愛心。Like, I'm talking to you now. I'm warning myself。我而家同大家講，其實你要警告緊我自己。I I I tell myself not to fall under the judgment of God。我亦都話俾我自己聽，我唔好落喺神嘅審判之下。Because this is this is very you know.、Uh, Very、uh, dangerous。呢個係非常之危險嘅。啊 ，so we must sound forth this message to our children。所以我哋要將呢個訊息嚟吹起向我哋嘅兒女。So、from young, 所以由細我哋好好教導佢。Uh, so in this way, when they grow up。所以咁樣佢當佢長大啦。Uh, they will not stray away from the Lord。佢哋唔會偏離主嘅道路。Uh, now I want you to look at chapter two again。我哋再嚟睇翻嚟第二章。Uh, we、we'll、look at verse fifteen。我哋到第十五節。Here it says, "Blow the trumpet in Zion, consecrate the fast, call a sacred meet,、uh, assembly." 十五節，你們要在石安吹角，分定禁食的日子，宣告延縮會。啊、uh, ，gather the people, verse sixteen. Gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and nursing babes. Let the bridegroom go out from his chamber and the bride from her dressing room. 十六節，聚集眾民，使會眾自潔，招聚老者，聚集孩童和吃奶的，使新郎出嚟洞房，新房新婦出嚟內室。I feel that this is the duty of the leaders of the church。我發覺呢點就係話教會嘅帶領者嗰種嘅責任。And this is also the duties of every parents。其實亦都係每個父母嘅嗰種嘅責任。We must gather, you know, our children together。我哋要將我哋嘅兒女聚集喺一齊。Especially when wrongs have done。尤其是啲事情出錯啦。We must gather them together to confess their sin before God。我哋一定要聚集喺佢哋神嘅面前嚟到去認錯。Because only in this way then God can。Accept them one, once again。只有咁樣做喺神裏邊再次嚟到去悦納佢哋。If we just leave it， 如果真係理唔理佢話 ，you find that problem will the 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 issue will grow worse。咁我哋發覺情況就更加差啦。啊 ，it will not be beneficial to to us and to our children。對我哋同埋我哋嘅兒女都冇益處。啊 ，so we must have the courage to do it。所以我哋有勇氣要咁樣做。啊 ，for the sake of our own salvation。為咗我哋自己救恩嘅緣故。And the salvation of our children。尤其是由同埋我哋嘅兒女嘅救恩。And the salvation of our brothers and sisters。同埋我哋弟兄姊妹嘅救恩。We must gather people together。我哋一定要聚集。Uh, to confess our sin before God. You 喺神嘅面前就要认罪。Especially when you see that the church has lost the zeal for God. 尤其是你睇到教会对神嗰种嘅热诚系少。When we see that members are not only interested in the matters of the world. 如果我哋就發覺我哋嘅信徒對世事就係有興趣啦。啊 ，and not the matters of God。唔係對神嘅事情有興趣啦。This is a dangerous moment。呢個就係危險嘅時候。啊 ，so we must gather everyone together。所以我哋一定聚集所有人一齊。And to pray to God and ask God for forgiveness。又同心合意求神嚟到禱告，向神禱告求神饒恕。啊 ，otherwise you find that our faith will become weaker and weaker。如果唔係嘅話，我哋發覺我哋嘅信心越嚟越軟弱啦。If we don't establish our faith right now。如果我哋而家唔建立好我哋嘅信心 ，So when temptation comes, how are we going to stand firm？ 當誒迷惑你嘅時候，我哋點樣嚟站穩咧 ？The world is so complicated。呢個呢個世界係非常之複雜。We say the world is full of sin。我哋話世界係充滿呢個罪惡。And we still live in this world。但係我哋仍然活喺呢個世上。And yet our faith is not growing。但係我哋嘅信心冇增長到。How are we going to survive the onslaught of Satan？ 
That's why we must bring everyone back to God through repentance. This is the way forward. Now, so when you look at chapter 2, we must take repentance very seriously. Nothing can should stop us from repenting to God. We must not give excuses for not repenting before God. When the church is not perfect, even though I, let's say we have not, you know, uh, got involved in the problems. Uh, because we are part of the church. We also need to repent. Uh, when someone is stray, Stray away from oh, God. Uh, we also need to repent. You, saw, you see that sometimes in the church, yeah, there are members who, who have lost the ability to repent. Uh, even ourselves, sometimes we want to repent, it becomes very difficult. Uh, sometimes when we look at our co workers, yeah, you know, we try to help, uh, you know. Them to repent, but they are not able. What should we do? We repent on their behalf. Uh, ask God to have mercy on them. Uh, hopefully, God will save them. Or so that they may come back to their senses. Now is a dangerous moment. Just like what the Bible says. Now we are in this, in this a perilous time. Uh, you see, you find that our heart is not exactly, you know, with God. Uh, sometimes we find that because we, we, are, we, are, we are being pulled away by our own uh, weaknesses. Uh, without genuine repentance, we can never come back to God. Uh, we need to bear this in mind. In fact, many of us have lost the capacity to repent. And they don't feel that there is a need to repent. We have to repent on their behalf. Uh, beg God for forgiveness. Ask God to have mercy on us all. Uh, so that the church can be revived. And our brother and sisters uh, once again can see uh, the Lord in the church. Uh, if we truly feel that God is in the church, then you find that the church will be a very attractive place to be in. We will not say, why should we go to church? Why so many services? Uh, you will not hear all these complaints anymore. Because the church is so attractive. Uh, because the church is the place where God is. We can truly see God in the church. The Bible tells us, if we draw close to God, then God will draw close to us. We have already known God. Now the problem is with us. We are straying further and further away from Him. If we have the desire to draw back, uh, draw close to God, then God will draw close to us. This is the word of the scriptures. Uh, so we hope that our brothers and sisters, not only we talk about love in the church, we need to sound forth warnings. We need to warn ourselves. We need to warn our Co-workers. We need to warn the church. Everyone must be warned. Uh, so that we can come back to our senses. And know exactly how to worship God and how to serve the Lord. Uh, obviously, you know, when you read the Old Testament scriptures. Uh, you know, only when people have reached the top, yeah, they can build up their faith. Uh, this requires, uh, you know, uh, a lot of hard work and 
the help from God. Yeah, I just want you to quickly look at the passage. We turn to uh, Ezekiel. Chapter 20. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 20. Uh, we read uh, verse 40 and 41. Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 40 and verse 41. For on my holy mountain, on the mountain heights of Israel, says the Lord God, there all the house of Israel, all of them in the land, shall serve me. There I will accept them, and there I will require your offerings. And the first fruits of your sacrifices, together with all your holy things. 第四十節,主耶和華說,在我的聖山就是以色列高處的山,所有以色列的全家都要侍奉我,我要在那裡越立你們,向你們要供物和初熟的土產,並一切的聖物。Verse 41,我 accept you as a sweet aroma when I bring you out from the peoples and gather you out of the countries where you have been Scattered, and I will be hallowed in you, in you before the Gentiles. One aspect of our Christian life is about, you know, uh, offering sacrifices to God. Or to serve Him, we said. But here I think it clearly tells us uh, what kind of offering will be accepted. He said, only on my holy mountain, on the mountain height. And then I will accept all your offerings. Meaning, if we have not reached that top, you find that whatever we may have done for God may not be accepted. That's why we need to strive to reach the top of the mountain. Uh, to make sure that God will accept our sacrifices. Otherwise, we find that all our services shall be in vain. Uh, if you have time, you just read, read through the chapter. The two verses that I have just read uh, is about, like, it's like a prophecy. In order to reach the mountain top, God has to do uh, this work of purging. The first thing that he would do is to purge the rebels. Uh, we read verse 38. I will purge the rebels. Uh, you know, you find that anyone who, do not, who does not change Today, if I don't change, I hold on to my ways. I, I think that my way is correct. You find that God will purge me away. Because I have become a hindrance for the church to grow. Uh, so God will do the work. Uh, so do not think that, you know, nothing happened to me, so it's okay. God will purge because the church belongs to Him. That's why in the church of God we can truly experience His love. But at the same time we also need to work out our salvation in fear and in trembling. May God help our brothers and sisters here uh, so that all of us, our faith can be revived. So that we have the courage to repent of our sin. May God bless us. Uh, let's pray. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ.
have you any more Jesus Christ to speak? Ah, uh, Jesus is mean God. Ah, so now we say uh, refreshments. Ah, uh, in the high cha ding si hao. Again, please allow the non Newcastle members and the elderly members to be seated first in the dining hall. Ah, 同样就系啊，请啊外嚟嘅同埋啊长者咧先坐下。Ah, the next session will be at ten past five. 咁下。